Hi, I'm Vinod Jaur. Uh, I'm presently working for Digital Edge uh, as a Chief Operating Officer. Uh, Digital Edge as a platform is an Asia-based platform. Uh, it's a very new platform, but aggressively growing across Asia. The last three years, uh, they have established uh, 17 data centers across six, seven countries. And then now the focus is to get into India also on that. So. Uh, in Mumbai, uh, we are going to commence our uh, uh, first operation with platform, uh, and we are developing a campus which has got a potential to go up to 300 megawatt. Professionally, um, I've been in data center industries for close to 20 years, both telecom and done, uh, done many data center across India, and seen the whole data center industry evolve over the period of time. I've been lucky enough to contribute, learn and contribute to this. And uh, mm, so that the infrastructure improves a lot. So I've constructed more than 10 greenfield data center, worked with the, uh, mm, good companies earlier with STTs, Adani Connects, and et cetera on that. Okay. So that's the background of myself. So how long are you working with the data center industry? And how are you seeing the top, you know? As I said, now my first expose to co location was in 2006 when Tata Communications ventured into this. And from that onwards till now, we have been in various forms, either constructing, operating, or designing data centers in that, uh, on that. So I have seen this industry mature over a period of time. Uh, it, it has evolved to adapt to customers' requirements. Earlier, it was very small scale concentrating only on local enterprise customers. Over a period of time, uh, it has evolved to cater to the high demand of hyperscalers. And now we see the data center going really green data center, sustainable data center. And they have been quick to adapt to the need of customers on that. So it's been an evolving um, uh, thing, and it's been a nice journey. The opportunity is definitely there because the data center or uh, is a core of a digital infrastructure, uh, and you see uh, uh, the amount of digitization and the infrastructure focus. India is particular building in here. Uh, the need for processing high amount of data uh, uh, and a very uh, um, short, with almost zero latency and real time basis is extremely high. This is also going to be complemented with new technologies which, which will depend on AI, machine learnings, um, then virtual realities and all. This will require the uh, data processing quantity to quantumly jump. So in terms of opportunity for uh, uh, co-location providers, we don't see any dearth of opportunity on a pan-India basis on that. Challenges remains uh, 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 the uh, expected that uh, some of the challenges would be addressed, but most challenges in India per se is uh, more related to securing land and power in a very short period of time on that. Those things I think through a various forms of representations and such kind of seminars and discussion with government is slowly coming down but they still remain a challenge for that on that. Uh, yes, obviously the solution is to continue to engage with the government agencies to educate them, yeah. to ensure that uh, their thoughts and actions aligns to the need of the industries, that's one. Second is to uh, actively deploy modular and technology heavy infrastructure so that the turnaround time comes down drastically. Uh, Digital Edge is now completely focused on uh, doing uh, modern um, uh, AI-based uh, data centers across the regions of that. So some, some solutions. <music>